Vanilla Dome 3. Here we go. We've only got three levels left of Vanilla Dome, so this might be short because I'm thinking of stopping after Wimmy's Castle, but here we go. Vanilla Dome 3, a big dot level. And somebody asked in the first video, I think, in the comments of the first video, what a big dot means. And I know that the difference between yellow and red is that a yellow level only has one exit. Aw, coach. <laughs> That probably was not worth it but yeah a yellow level means there's only one exit and in a red exit in a red dot that means there's two exits but as for the difference between a small and a big dot now that I don't know that's a bit of a stumper it could just be that whoever designed the map just wanted a big dot there who knows but maybe it does mean something I mean maybe it indicates a longer level I really couldn't say for sure but I don't know it'd be interesting to look into at the very least maybe I should maybe I should try to let these flying blocks alone that kind of ended in disaster there didn't it I like how one of the skulls on the skull rafts always always vibrates a lot like like it's got a little trolling motor on the back of it or something it's that's just kind of a neat little element right there ah here we go Feather time. We can fly up and make our way to a uh, bonus game if we can get some good running space here. We just go up here and we can skip most of that ugly lava rafting. Okay, you guys. Get out of here. Jesse got a bonus game to play. Here we go. Now. <laughs> Did I moonwalk backwards into the thing? That was awesome. Oh, man. Mario putting on the moves even when he doesn't have to. Here we go. All right. Yeah, that gave me way more than my 99 that I need, even though you can't stockpile lives above 99 like you can in, say, Donkey Kong Country. I think you can do that. Donkey Kong Country 2, I know you can for sure, but I don't know if that's a feature. Okay, here. <laughs> Stupid boy. Took yourself out, you big old dummy. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get rid of it. Well, maybe I didn't want to get rid of it entirely. Let's see if I can't bring it back. I've done this with some measure of success before. Oh, hey! Also another pipe with an ice segment. Whoa, we just got pipes all over the place. We may miss out on Yoshi doing this, but... Ah, eh, who really cares? He's not particularly useful in this level. Especially seeing it. We've probably skipped too many Dragon Coins for that to be effective. By now. But, yeah. Yoshi's not too, not too effective here, seeing as how if we land in the lava... We don't really get to keep it me. Oh, okay. We come back out the same pipe. I see. I get it. Okay. So, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take Yoshi anyway, because why not? And then we'll just kick this up, pop it out of the scene, and there we go. Not sure why they put red switch box on the other side of this. It's like, oh, you got to make an exact jump to get Yoshi if they're not there. Challenge. No. No, not challenging. They have not presented red switch box in any sort of challenging way yeah that's just i don't know the red and blue blocks maybe if they'd had more time they could have done something with them like yeah why don't you get a little bit of spicy heat there on your tongue yoshi all right float out to that yee those are called blargs by the way the guys who pop up out of the lava and attempt to eat you with their crazy eyes and crazy teeth and their meth mouth Okay, there's some level in this game where you fly up and there's a cave to the left and there's a three up moon in it, but I cannot, we may have already missed that particular cave, but it may be in another level that's up ahead. I can't remember for certain. Ah, you, yeah, sure, whatever. You just go on your way. It's not like you would be very effective here anyway. One of the very few instances of straight up piranha plants in this game. Most of the time they spit fire or they do some other crazy thing but yeah you very rarely see normal piranha plants in this game and you certainly don't see them coming upwards out of a pipe in fact there's not even a sprite for that in lunar magic you have to import it from a separate graphics set in order to have that if you want to make a mario world hack the only normal piranha plant in the game is one that faces down now vanilla dome 4 which takes place apparently outside despite the fact that we are still in the cave i always like these particular platforms that i'm standing on with a little sprig of grass at the top and the polka dots 
Oh, this is a fun level with all the bullet bills running around. It's not terribly challenging as far as these levels go. It, somewhat toward the end, it's a bit hair-raising, but... Okay. But, for the most part, it's just a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, you just, uh... Wow, boy. He's gonna keep on going to the right, isn't he? He has no plans to ever turn back and face me. Like a man. Get out of here. Get that shit out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we just have feathers all over the place, don't we? There we go. Recovered in due time. Excellent. Hmm. Yeah, but this level is just... This, this level is just one of those crazy fun levels. Love them. And we get a reprieve from Bullet Bills for the time being. But they'll be back, don't worry. Oh, they will be back in style. I assure you, crap. Okay, one of these I can go in, and it's not this one, I don't think. Oh, God, right in the face. Should have seen that coming. This one, this is the one you can go in. Excellent, all right. So let's pop down. Okay. Oh, boy. More lava riding. I didn't even realize it. This is a room you do not want to come in with Yoshi, so I'm actually kind of glad I lost him in the last level because, I don't know, there's there's a part coming, this part. This part is kind of nasty, and then, yeah, you can't get through this without Yoshi, or with Yoshi, because there's no room to duck, so you basically end up either having to abandon him, or you do what I usually do, which is panic and die. I like how they set that up, tried to make kind of a curvy pipe behind tried to make a curvy pipe, I guess, behind the rock, but they didn't really have the sprites for it, so it ended up not working out. So, I don't know, just kind of a little fun graphic illusion there. Okay, to get this one up, we're going to bounce it back toward us. Ha ha ha! Question block trickery. Moo ha ha. Okay. Down in here, and there should be one more. I don't think we've missed any of the dragon coins in our journey. Yep, didn't think so. And that should plant us right at the end of the level. 40! Nice! I was just one off from 50. I used to think 40 was the be-all end-all. Then I discovered 50 and I basically cracked my pants. Here we go, bonus game. Okay, star, so I should be like right here. Uh, no. Well, if I can get all mushrooms, that's not bad. That's at least consistency. There we go. One, two, three, four one-ups from that, I believe. That wasn't too bad that time, <laughs> although... I completely ignored the fact that that's not the image in the center. That's usually how I do on that. I've been doing pretty bad otherwise, but when I do at least moderately well on a bonus game, that's how I end up doing, basically. Lemmy's Castle, let's get it on. Magic Koopa, oh lord, you are annoying. We're going to wait for him to appear underneath us so that, so that he can make a hole, because I don't want to spend my time spin jumping all over blocks here. We can duck his magic. There we go. Whenever he hits a block with his magic, it'll make a yellow Koopa shell. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's awesome. That's all kinds of awesome. But if you jump on Magic Koopa's head, he'll be gone temporarily, not forever. So we need to make as much progress as we can while he's gone. And then, of course, if we are unlucky, he'll end up appearing somewhere in this neighborhood. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, he's gone. Now we're going to go here. This is going to get us a midway point for this level if we can get inside this door. All right, our Magic Koopa trouble's over. We can get a midway point and a one-up just for getting through that special little door right there. That's great. Now we're going to have to deal with another layer two sinking rocks and lava type of thing. Very slow, somewhat tedious, but I don't know. I enjoy it. I always like this segment for some reason. Usually, you know, I guess these, to kind of compare, I don't know, apples and oranges, I guess, because they're trying to go for different things, really, but these kinds of segments in Sonic games are always totally interminable, mostly because I feel like in Sonic games, they should always be exercising your right to run blindingly fast, and there are a lot of segments, if you stop and think about it, in Sonic games where they're not taking advantage of his speed, where you're having to wait on some really slow thing, or you're like having to walk through water, and I don't know, it's just the complete antithesis of, a, of what a Sonic game should be, and they do it all the damn time. Like, if I'm Sonic, I basically want to be running, but in a game like this, a Mario game, I don't really care. 
I guess because Mario can't run at the speed of light, so I don't know, it's not something that gets emphasized really, but I don't know, I've found people who don't like Sonic games for that, I still like Sonic games, I just find that they tend to do that a lot, and I agree with people who assess that they do that a lot in those games, but it doesn't make me like Sonic games any less, and we'll probably play one shortly down the road, you know, when this game is over. Oh, hey, give me back my mushroom. Here we are. We should be just about near the end of the level. We are coming up on Lemmy Koopa, who has a little, who has a little decoy system in place here. There we go. Feather up for the fight ahead, and first of all, we got to avoid a fireball going around the room. But now, Lemmy Koopa will pop up out of these pipes, and we have to find the real Lemmy Koopa and not stomp on one of his decoys, which I can't believe I just got hit by one. That's like the epitome of game failure right there. But he only takes three hits. And then he goes down in the lava and disintegrates forever. Leaving us to assume, I suppose, that he is dead. And I am just doing god-awful here. Because I'm trying to talk and get through this at the same time. Out of my face. Boy, he is just popping up way far away today from me. There we go. There's one hit at least. Oh, lord. We're going to be able to get through this? Wow, now he's just popping up right next to me. Now he's just giving me freebies. There we go. Three hits, and he falls into the lava. I guess his skin melts off. I don't really even want to think about it. That's also what scares me about New Super Mario Bros. First time I played that, and you beat the first world, and Bowser goes in the lava, and you see his bones, and he's, like, thrashing in the lava. Whew! Man, that was kind of dark for a Mario game. I guess it was not without precedent, though. Mario's Quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? <laughs> we sure have. Oh, Lord. It wasn't that difficult. It's not starting to get much more difficult. I would only say the game starts to get much more difficult around Last World, Valley of Bowser, Star Road. Arguably Chocolate Island, but I don't know. We're not going to sit here and split hairs. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Take the pipe on outside, save our game, and that is going to be it for us today. We are going to go on tomorrow, and uh, actually we're not going to go up here, well, not on camera anyway. We'll go off camera and we'll pick up some goodies, and then tomorrow we will start in on the Cheese Bridge area. And we will do these kind of intermediate levels, I suppose, that end up leading up to Ludwig von Koopa's castle. We'll do this whole... We'll do this whole segment tomorrow we'll, of this of these kind of weird... There's not really a World 4. There's just kind of these uncategorized intermediate levels that end up leading up to Ludwig. And they are going to take up our day tomorrow. So we're going to go back through to the top secret area, pick up some necessary goodies for what we're going to be facing. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.